I'll start with a quick review for this audiobook Caffeine by Michael Pollan. I'll give this book four stars. I think it's a good overview of caffeine. Learn some new information from this book or audiobook. And I think it's a very well written and some interesting points about caffeine. So I definitely recommend. It's short, which is good. I don't think you can buy it as a book. It's a good question if you can buy it as a book or maybe it was because it came as out of a Audible original. Let's see the notes. Caffeine help memory. So caffeine is actually helping to retrieve memories and make memories. Killing the intruder is not always the best strategy as they are more likely to adapt to it or kill it. Disarming them is a better strategy. So caffeine, that's the strategy of caffeine. It's a mechanism of the plant to protect itself. But killing, caffeine is not killing the intruder, it's actually disarming them. And because killing them is not always a good strategy because we can adapt to it or kill it altogether. Two types of consciousness, spite light, which is focused in reasoning, which is focused in reasoning, and more broad consciousness that is not focused, similar to children. I forgot how do you, how do you, what's the name of the second one. But the, the idea is that there is two types. One of them is more focused, used for math and reasoning, things like that. The other one is more broad and similar to the way kids are. It's all over the place, more broad, more intuitive. Coffee help spotlight consciousness. So that's what coffee helps is with the spotlight consciousness. And that's one of the reasons caffeine is so abundant and widely used today to do those focused activities. Caffeine was helping workers to be more productive in various hours during the day. Since we start working more hours, many times late hours and during the night, caffeine is one of the, one of the substances that can help with that. We seem to be slaves of caffeine rather than the opposite. Sometimes we say that caffeine, uh, caffeine is the slave. We are enslaving caffeine in some way. That's what we tend to think, but actually all the way around, we are moving caffeine everywhere. We're planting in everywhere and we're taking good care of it. So who's the slaves of who? That's a good one. And turns out that we are because we are highly dependent on caffeine. And that's it for the notes. And again, it's a very interesting overview of caffeine. Some good points there. It makes you question that dependence of our society on caffeine and what does it do to our society. Some good history as well. And that's it. Thank you.